Yo, what is going on guys? Hope you guys are having a good day. And in today's video, as you guys saw by the thumbnail and the title, I am finally doing a SMG guide video for you guys. As you guys may know, I'm probably one of the, you know, people that use the SMG at every single, like, you know, you know situation or even game. You guys see me playing the SMGs in every tournament, every match, every rank, anything. So because of that, many of you guys were requesting for me to make this video, which is why I'm doing that right now. Uh, in the gameplay, you'll see me using the PDW Toxic Waste, which I will show a loadout in the end. Uh, big thank you to Rippin, who decided to give me his account to use that weapon. I didn't really buy it myself, as you guys can see. I didn't really buy the call points, because I don't, you know, it's, PD it's the PDW. I don't really use it as much. But, uh, big thank you again to him. Uh, his links will be in the description. Feel free to give him a sub. But other than that, I hope you guys do enjoy the video. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, and sub. We are so close to 6k subs, or by the time I upload this video, we already are there. And also, remember to hit the bell notification on, like, you know, turn it on, so you guys can, uh, you know, get the notification when I upload. Anyways, guys, peace. Alright, guys, welcome back. So, in this video, this is not going to be a live commentary, only because I had so much to say, and I didn't know how I was going to say it mid-game, because, you know... Usually when I do a live commentary, I always talk and like end up stop like I end up like not, not talking after I like get a kill or like die. So I don't want to do that because this is a guide video and I want to give you guys the best information that I can. But uh, in this video, you guys are going to notice, like I said, I'm going to be using the PW Toxic, uh, PW57 Toxic Waste, which in my opinion is such a cool gun. The animation, the looks of it, everything is good. I wouldn't use it like I said before because I don't really use the PW, but yeah, I hope you guys do enjoy the gameplay in the background. And also, since I was using uh, another person's account before the video, you know, to actually like, get have the gun, um, the game might feel a bit different than what how I usually play, only because I had to make the HUD and like you know change the settings, and I didn't really change the settings to my like, correct settings or the HUD to like what I think it was like beforehand. So I apologize for that if it does you know look or feel different when you guys are watching. But yeah, other than that, let's get on with the video. So f the first tip I can give you guys, uh, you know, onto you know how to use the actual you know, SMGs in uh, styles and whatnot, is the movement. With SMGs, we all know having the best movement with SMGs is legit the best thing you can do. Uh, these movements include such as slide peeking, jump shotting, drop shotting, sl uh, jiggle peeking. This is exact thing that I made in like uh, another video, uh, it's like the how to improve movement video I made. So you guys want to check out which movements to use and what I'm talking about. You guys can feel free to watch that. But other than that, the first thing you guys should learn is to using movement, which I just explained now. Movement will get you anywhere in the game. It can even get you to potential situations, like you know, I mean, get you out of potential situations when sh you should die. But you know, basically juke out the enemies is what I'm trying to say. So that's the first tip. Make sure you have proper proper movement. Second tip I can give you guys is playstyle. With all the SMGs, we all know they're well known for using close range, mostly for close range battles. But there are other SMGs like the RUS, uh, PDW and the cordite which are legit used for all ranges pw has a fastest kill time for long range uh but like i said pw isn't really much of a comp gun or a gun you see every day in like you know in life so i wouldn't really recommend using that for a starter smg i would probably recommend using the rus uh not the cordite unfortunately the cordite is now gone from the store you could, you could only get the Cordite if you did the um, 1v1 duel event, I think it was, yes. And the, uh, what was it called? You can only get it from the Lucky Draw. So, like I said, if you guys did not end up doing that, or if you guys are new to the game because of the Season 7 release, I would recommend using the RUS as your first, uh, you know, beginner uh, gun. The only reason I'm saying this is because you get that level, you get that gun at a really low level. I think it is level 7. And it is probably one of the easier uh, SMGs to use. Uh, RUS is one of the most versatile weapons in my opinion, which means you can basically use it in any situation and anywhere, such as short range, mid uh, mid range, or long range. Uh, you know, which makes the gun how, like how it, it basically makes the gun a like, good guys to use right now. Uh, it also does. Um, it is actually one of the fastest killing SMGs, other than the Cordite, which is a good plus for it. Cordite, in my opinion, is probably like number one at the moment. So, big props to you if you have that gun, because 
if you do i recommend using that for a third tip i'm going to tell you guys when to play passive and when to play aggressive so usually with smgs it's a no-brainer to play aggressive because of, uh you know knowing smgs you have to play close range like i said in the other tip uh, especially with the MSMC, if you guys did not know, the MSMC was one of, of the best SMGs before they nerfed it, especially back uh, from beta to season 4, I believe it was. But with the recent nerfs, the gun is basically unusable at this point if you compare it to other SMGs, which will outgun it way like, more easily than it could before, which makes the gun basically un uh, you know unusable. Anyways, back to the topic. So the reason why you should know when to play passive and aggressive for the SMGs is because it really does count on how you play with the gun. With an SMG, although it is a close range gun, it doesn't always have to mean you have to play aggressive. Uh, like the guns such as the Cordite, RUS, or the PW, they all give you the ability to use long range battles to your advantage as well. So what I'm trying to say is if you are a person that lurks or roams around the map, you should 100% play aggressive or even passive when it comes to that. Let's say you're trying to flank someone, and as you guys know, when you're flanking, you have to play both. You have to play a bit passive, to, you know, to like, you know, know, like, you know, find info and see where they at, and then at some points you have to play aggressive to, you know, flank them and actually get the kill so your team can push on into the site. So depending on what role you have, or how your game style is, that will just, you know, help you decide on when to play passive and aggressive. All right, for the last and final tip is knowing how to move around a map. But before that, I would like to apologize on how this might get confusing, especially on this tip. Uh, tip three and tip four were kind of hard to like, you know, actually like explain it in a way. Cause like I said, this is kind of my first time doing a guiding video or like a, not, just like a guide video in general, sorry. And it is kind of like a coaching style thing, which I am new to. So I apologize if it is a bit confusing or non-detailed. Like I said, it's my first time doing this. So it will take a while to get used to this. But anyways, let's get back to the topic. So when it comes to this kind of, you know, explaining, I would first, you know, practice the map. So let's say we're talking about standoff. What you guys want to do is go into a practice match and find out every route or angle you can hold and standoff on both T side and CT sides. Uh, once that happens, create a, some sort of image in the, you know, in your head kind of like a 3D image of the layout. And whenever you get in the situation where you end up killing someone and you need to like find the possible way to you know, go around the map and you know prevent yourself from dying, you can use that 3D image and end up finding the you know quickest way to like you know escape that situation. I know it is something like sounding a bit confusing, uh, which is why I'm trying to like explain it in a way that you guys might find out. But uh, basically what I'm trying to say is you gotta you know find different kind of routes. So let's say you are bomb grenades, right? And you kill some bomb grenades. And it, uh, also, let me remind you guys that this is basically a 1v2. So they're not gonna go in a wolf pack and they end up pushing you one by one. You kill the guy with bomb grenades and you are low. And once that happens, you, would, you wouldn't wanna, you know, actually go for the second kill and actually kill them. Cause you, like I said before, you are low and that would be a risk of you losing the game or even the round. So what you gotta do is escape and find a different route on how to escape. So since you're bottom grenades, you could either go from the doorway towards the red container, or you can go top grenades and jump out the window. Since it is basically a 50-50 chance on knowing where the enemy comes in, you have to find info by jiggle peeking or do some doing some sort of movement to like you know have an idea where they are. Once you do that, complete what you're gonna do and run with that route and end up winning the round if you can. Once again, I do apologize if this does sound confusing. This is probably one of the hardest tips for me to explain, which is why I left it towards the last bit of the part. So once again, I'm sorry if it was confusing. I personally think it was. So if you guys have any questions, feel free to comment down below on what you need me answering because I personally think I didn't really explain it as much as I would have if I had like more time with the gameplay, but yeah. Uh, I hope you guys did enjoy the live gameplay. Let's get on with the class a little. All right, guys. So for the loadout, I use quick draw, foregrip, and long barrel, same as the other PDW attachments. For the secondary, I use a pistol. I just use the MW11 wrath back on gold. Once again, this is not my account. This is Rippin, so thanks again to Rippin. So his, I know, links and all will be down in the description. So feel free to check that out and give him a sub. And for the operator skill, I use the annihilator. For the lethal, I recommend using a frag grenade or a trip mine. The trip mines are especially good during rank as of right now. For the tactical, I recommend using the smoke grenade. 
And for the red perk, I recommend using lightweight. For the green perk, I recommend using toughness. And for the blue perk, I recommend using dead silence. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys did enjoy the video. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, and sub. And I hope to see you guys in the next one. Peace.